Right, this is part two of my visit to East Orchard in June 2008. Denny's Jeffrey Greenfield, 1927 to 2000. William George Richards Bush, 1899 to 1991. They're all sadly forgotten, aren't they? That's what happens. It's a beautiful evening. It's absolutely beautiful. It's one lying face down. So you never know, though, if you miss one. Somebody but. Samuel Butt. Right, in 1889, age 82, and there was someone else. Somebody can. Anne. 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 Samuel Butt. She died in 1884, age 88. There's butts in here. There'll be lots that are under all this grass, as usual. Oh, I'm just getting into a newer area now. East Orchard on the 30th of June 2008 in Dorset. I just have to remind myself sometimes when I'm on the tapes of uh, where I am because you can get lost if you don't do that. Right, these are newer ones up here and there's room for many more. There could be others underneath anyway. Right, we're stuck in the corner. Mary Elizabeth Bush, 1985, age 56. Some I can't read. Thomas Keith Pope, 1923 to 1988. I'm not going to do them all. I hope you don't mind, or that wouldn't like it because I wouldn't do it. Right, hold on, wait a minute. Who have we got here? There was a rose bush got hold of me then, so I have to say, no, you can't go past me. Bar bar. Jewel, Jeweler, Jeweler, would you, anyway, 1915 to 1992, it's very difficult to read, in memory of, it looks like Barbar. and Sam Tevishan, Philip Matthew Douglas Young, Raymond M.G. Gillett. Still got some to do yet, but I think I'll just sit and have me banana. It's a lovely evening. Well, I'm just turning the tape off for a minute. I have my... my <coughs> right, that's East Orchard, so that was a pleasant surprise coming by here. And, uh... I must have missed it the first time, because they do get tucked away. When you're going down a narrow lane, you often can miss the church. Because it's usually surrounded by trees and things. And, uh... Yeah, I thought we'd just well look at them all and run this way, aren't they? Right. I'm now sat on a nice wooden bench in the English countryside. And it's ba 
baking hot. It's absolutely baking hot. It must be 30 odd degrees. I've had my banana. I've done all the graves. And I have been up a long time, so I'm going to make my way towards that farm, even though there's loads of light left. But 8 o'clock EastEnders is on. And I could do with having a little rest. I haven't stopped. I, was up, I didn't sleep all night. I might have slept for one hour. As much as the excitement of the family tree, you see. Couldn't wait to get me van packed and go off in my van on a trip. Family tree field trip. Didn't take long for one of the kids to get hold of me though and ask me to babysit, but then that's the nature of life, isn't it? I'm talking to myself, but I'm not, I'm talking into the tape. It's company, really. So, I was in the graveyard by 7 o'clock in the morning. At Gillingham, or Gillingham, however you pronounce it. I was in the graveyard at 7 o'clock. By 9 o'clock, I was at Mockham. By past nine, quarter to ten, I was in Shaftesbury and I spent a long time in Shaftesbury. Went around four churches, several graveyards. Walked up Gold Lane, which is where the Hovist, Hovist advert is made, that, that pebbled street with a little boy pushing a ba baker's bike up there. I walked up that. Well, not too bad, actually, it wasn't as long. It was pretty, though, with all the thatched cottages. Then I've been over to Ashmore, I think it's called. Where Sandy's grand, I think it's her grandparents. Or it could be her great grandparents. I think it's her great grandparents. Are buried there. Ernest Beeling and Hester. But I haven't found out who Hester is yet. Whether that was a nickname or not. So it could have been, it didn't say Ernest A B, and it just said Ernest. So that Ernest A might not be the right one. They might still be related though. So all these people live very close together in these villages, so it could have been a cousin or something. So Still working on that. This Hester girl. So that was good in Ashmore, but it's pretty pond and thatched cottages. Then after that, I thought I went through Font Mill Magna quickly, and I'm following. I might not even be following the right route yet. I might come across another village yet. Gorgeous. It's really pretty. It's a lovely graveyard. It's very peaceful here. It's sad that, well, it's wild. They don't seem to, I think a lot of these graves have been forgotten by people now. Unless you get grave hunters like me come along from the new ones of course they've got flowers on them and everything it's stepped off the road little tiny space to park my van this is all to do with family tree and one day somebody like Daisy and Amber might listen to this and they might come on this trail themselves you never know over and out for now I'm going to start off in my van in a minute must be going on for 5 o'clock now so it's a good time to go home. Well, go to a campsite. I might not be able to get in there. Might be full. It's a nice day. It brings people out. Don't know what I'll do then. I ain't going to go hunting for one. I might do. I might sort of start making my way back towards Glastonbury if I find a campsite off camp there. If it's cheap. But then I'll have to use the money for the petrol. See? So I've kept some money back. 
I'm, I'm relying on my money going in the bank tonight, otherwise I ain't going to be able to get home. Over and over now. Right, it's the 31st of June now, and I've spent the night at the, um, the farm near West and East Orchard. I think it's called Field View or something like that. Yeah, I slept really well. I went to bed quite early, actually, because I'd had a long day yesterday. A, a very industrious day. I, you know, achieved quite a lot, I think, really, in the scanning of the various churches. I've t I'm taking my time. I mean, it's going over 11 o'clock now, but I'm actually taking my time. I still feel a bit tired. I'm relying on my money being in the bank, so I'm going to go back to... Shaftesbury, which is only about three miles away, I should put four pounds worth of petrol in, because if, if it does come to the crunch, that might just get me home. If my money hasn't gone in the bank, I'll have to start making my way back. If my money has gone in the bank, I'm going to go to Blanford Forum and spend an afternoon looking around there. So over and out for now. Uh, right, on my way to Blanford, I've managed to stop at Sturminster Newton, right near a bank, free parking. Uh, my money was in, so I got some petrol money. I had a little wander around, thought I'd find the local church, which I have, and I've just parked up, again, managed to find a free space. And so I'm just going to have a little wander around, because I think Sandy said she actually stayed in them. Um, or lived at Sturminson New once. Right, I will continue this on a separate um, section on Sturminster Newton um, later on. So over and out for now. <laughs>